so in today's video i'm going to be doing um, a makeup look the one i'm wearing right now i'm just going to go step by step how i do it show you like tips and tricks i've learned on my makeup um ways you can do it more naturally and um, if you do want to do another routine but a more natural one like without the eye makeup without the lips without the you know contour is dark and it's deep and the highlight is blinding and stuff tell us let us know and i'll do a more natural one like an everyday one that I do for college and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically what this video is about. I hope you enjoy it. Um, also, I would just like to mention, I'm definitely not a makeup artist. I just enjoy doing makeup. That's, you know, I just enjoy doing it sometimes. Smudge wants to come on camera. Don't you smudge? <laughs> Do you like your makeup smudge? Is that yes? Is that yes? <laughs> He hates being on camera. If you ever put a camera on him, he looks away. Like, I don't know how he knows, but he just does. Like, that's my boob. You sniff my boob, Smudge. Me and Smudge would just like to say, make sure you give us a like. Tell him, Smudge, me. Tell him we give it a like. <laughs> make sure you give it a like if you like this video. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just going to crack on with the video now because my intros take so long. Like, ridiculously long. Oh. Just pulling my arm down there, so much. Don't worry about it. So, guys, we're gonna try a hack together, right? So, oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, there's loads of little bits of soap. Right, so I keep saying hacks everywhere. If people don't know why I said everywhere like that, but I keep saying hacks everywhere. If people are using these for the eyebrows, and it's supposed to be like amazing. And I haven't done it before because why am I breathing so heavily? Well, why? Because I just run up the stairs. I keep saying hacks if people are using these. And um, for the eyebrows to make them more bushy, and I've never really been like I never was a fan of the bushy eyebrow look. I kind of didn't like it, but now I've literally fallen in love with it. Like I think it looks so nice. Look when I try and like focus the camera on outside, so it doesn't look like bright white. Watch, guys. This is why I need a camera. Like look at this. You can't even see us in the background. So yeah, we're gonna have to kind of deal with that background for now. I don't know if this is clean. Um, it's got like a bit of, I use this one to tint my eyebrows with. It's got a bit of tint coming off it, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. So the girl I seen in the video, what she did was she just got like a setting spray and sprayed it so it was like a little bit wet, just like a little bit like that. And then the majority of you at home have probably done this a hundred times before and you're like, Emily, it's really easy. No, I don't think it was very really clean. It's fine. And then apparently you just brush it up. Oh my God, it does work. Oh my God, I'm in love. It does work. Oh my God. Look at that. Instead of that so much better i'm definitely gonna have to like pluck under here though soon but oh my god i like that oh that that's a bit much yeah i really like this i think it's so cute oh my god i love this it's actually so adorable oh my god do you know what youtube video i should do one time Trying to recreate someone's makeup look. You know, this is my favourite eyebrow. Always has been, always will be. It's just better. Like, it doesn't matter what I do with this eyebrow, it just always looks bad. But this one, it's just me baby. Like, it's actually just me baby. This one, however, I'm not, not thriving for it. It's a yes from me. The soap, I think it is amazing. Like, literally, it looks so much better. So something else that I've been thinking is everybody seems to be using liquid contour but me. I've never used liquid contour and like everybody seems to use it. So first thing I'm going to do is eye makeup because I feel like you should always do eye makeup first. I'm going to put these leaves up. I love this jumper now. It's actually mine now. Um, I'm having so I've got such a chilled out vibe right now with this outfit. I mean if it wasn't like tucked in there. If it wasn't like tucked in there, it would look so much better, wouldn't it? Like, I'm loving the chilled out vibes that I've got from this outfit. Like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, first things first, I make up because I always, I'm the sort of person I do eyebrows, eyes first. 
because I've had so many experiences where I've done my foundation and then I just almost got into my foundation and it's just ruined my life. So I'm just don't do that anymore, don't to the point. So today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty palette. Uh, the Desert Dusk palette. Remember I was showing you this one? Yeah, I've got another one. I've got a Morphe one. Oh my god, I can't run it. But it's got like all the same sort of colours in. Hmm, which one should I use? Which one should I use? I spend the majority of my time not actually doing eye makeup, trying to decide which palette to use. It's quite pathetic, actually. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. So what I'm gonna do before, obviously, I do my eye makeup is I need to conceal my eyeballs um, and then add the P. Louise base on. Right now, I'm gonna use the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define um concealer oh that was a bit high wasn't it concealer so that's it um, and i'm using that in shade c6 and this is my baby literally love it then i'm going to be going in with pay louise base what shade oh, i got this in 0 0.5 the shade i think that's the second lightest one you can get i think yeah i think zero is the lightest you can get in 0 0.5 whenever i see videos people are always using like thick brushes like this for under their eyes I don't know why, but like, I feel like I want to try it. I always use this because I feel like it's just more precise sort of thing. But um, let me say I'll try this because everybody seems to be using them. So like, why not even try? Do you know what I mean? I may as well give it a go. Do you know what, right? Do you know what I always do when I'm like washing off makeup brushes and stuff? Like, do you know when you're doing your eye makeup and stuff? You have to wipe it off and use new colour and stuff. Otherwise, you're quite strange. What I tend to do, right, and I know it's really weird, but I get, like, a fresh sock. <laughs> I'm literally out of myself. I get a fresh sock and I just do it on there. And I'll put, like, Marcella water on sometimes. If, like, it's really stubborn. Um, But just because, I just find it, like, terrible. Like, do you know, you know like, uh, baby wipes and stuff? The amount of them that wash up in the ocean is, like, actually unbelievable. Like, I don't know why people even still use them. Like, after I learned about how bad they were for the environment, I completely stopped using them. Like, I just don't use them. And even cotton pads, like, I've stopped using them now as well. Like, I'll just use, like, either a cloth or, like, a sock. But, like, a sock is so much easier. Because some people will be thinking, oh, my, that's really strange. I use a sock. It's a clean sock. It was out of the wash. It was perfectly clean. It's okay. Um, and it's an odd sock. Like, the amount of odd socks I've got is unbelievable. And they're never going to find the pairs ever again. So... I'm gonna, with me a little sock hand, I'm gonna just try this brush. I hope it does work. Cause like, everybody seems to be using them. But like, I don't know why. So yeah, just with me concealer, I'm just going under it. That was so much easier. Why have I never used one of these? Oh, please don't say I drink it. This is actually so much easier. What the hell? Right, yeah, so basically I'll put my concealer in here and just dab it under my eye, get it all blended in. The problem is it's a little bumpy here, but we're just going to ignore it, pretend it's not there. Because I'm not about to tweed my eyebrows in the middle of this video because I'm such a baby and you will stop laughing. But I literally just do exactly the same on this eyebrow. This is my favourite eyebrow. I love this eyebrow so much. My eyebrows are like two completely different shades naturally. So I've kind of got to go up a little bit more on this eyebrow, like here. After I've got that concealer on, I always do a double check and just make sure that the eyebrows are looking similar. See, it's this problem here. Like, I've got no eyebrow there, but then I've, it starts there. So then there's just like a gap there, but it starts there. And it looks stupid. Right, then I'm going to go in. When we pay his base and can you see how i only like went from like there up like literally just under my eyebrow then i go on with the pay louise base and i just literally dab it in oh i'm dabbing quite hard jesus like i don't even blend it properly i literally just dab it in like that i get my one of my mini beauty blenders i just dab it in my boyfriend got sleeves. Oh, I haven't wetted this. That's why it feels so weird. Oh, well. You can tell how much whiter this looks than that. Right, I'm just going to go on the other eye. Do exactly the same thing. Okay. And then, same thing. Just blend it out. The only problem with the sock thing 
is like when you put your makeup on your wrist, you've got to like take it on your other hand and then put it back onto this one. <laughs> yep, that's my eyes set and ready. So I was I need to give me a little breather. Well, I was just gonna end up getting sweaty. That's lovely, isn't it? It's a lovely image I just give you as all. I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow brush. You see, yeah, I've got this Morphe brush on way around. Um, and so I've got this Morphe blending, blending brush. It doesn't actually have a number on it, so it's just like a blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with Desert Sand, which is that one right there. I know this is actually atrocious. I'm so sorry, guys. Can't even deal. Yeah, you don't want to put too much on your brush because you don't want to, like, overwhelm it. Um, And then I'm literally just going to go in circular motions all the way around to here. And I'm going to do that a few times. Add a bit more. Go around to here. A bit more. What? Oh my god, I had a panic attack there. I don't know why I always do this. It probably doesn't actually do anything. But um, for me, I just always add like a light shade in and take it up high. A light shade and just, yep, yeah, take it up high. Circular motions. I've got my hand in such a bad position, don't I? It's like right in the way. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go back in here and take it up. Now that's on. So next, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna drop my palette all over myself. I'm gonna jump in Eden, which is just uh, that one there. So I'm gonna do circular motions up to here, and then back down again. So I'm gonna keep doing this, and I'm just gonna lift it that little bit higher, just that little bit higher. Do you see? Okay, I, could be, I might be doing all this wrong. I'm not good at eye makeup. I'll tell you that, but I'm not the best at eye makeup, but I wouldn't say I was terrible either. And this is just what I do. I definitely wouldn't say that this is what you should do. It's just what I personally do. How cute is that colour even though? It's like so adorable. Like, oh my God, I actually live for it. I would just always say be careful how much you add because I do it sometimes, I'll add too much and I'm like, oh no, because... You can't take it away, but you can add more. So yeah, they're quite equal now. I get like good camera and good lighting, don't know. It's an actual joke, but it's fine. Doesn't matter, because I'm not gonna get stressed out about it. <laughs> Definitely not gonna get stressed. So next I'm gonna go in with this one. I don't know where this is from. It literally just has eyes on it, and it's like half coming off. But um, it's just like a smaller, um, it's just like a smaller blending brush. I don't even know what you would call that. It'll have a name, but just, Looks like that. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to make sure all the product is off of that. Because if you've just seen, there was a cloud of powder that just went in my face. So that's not great. My last video's quality was really bad, wasn't it? Because I accidentally selected the wrong thing. It's like I downloaded it off an app onto the, straight onto YouTube. And it takes like a good 40 minutes to do it. Um, so when I was downloading it, it just took so long. And then I uploaded it and watched it again because I was rewatching it. And it just the quality was so bad, but I was like, I cannot remove it, then put it back on because I'd be all like halfway through watching it and stuff, so I just left it on. So that's really bad quality. I'm very sorry. Next, I'm gonna go in with Amber, which is one up here. If I'm not watching this video, then hi, Amber. So, literally, you need to be so careful. I'm gonna be so careful with this because I don't want to put too much on, just very carefully adding it in. Because I want to darken this corner. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to darken this corner. Bring it out. So this one's not like very good for blending. Like I like to apply it with this. But then go in and blend it with this. Like blend it out with this. Because it's just a lot better to blend with. So yeah I'm just going to keep adding to this. Slowly though. And just making it darker and darker. Um, but bringing it a bit forward, like so, I'm just kind of going around. This is kind of as far as I want to bring it. Like I can blend, I'll blend it down here, but I'm not gonna directly add it into that bit. This is as far as I'm gonna directly add it. The rest of it's just gonna get blended down. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna blend this one up a little bit. 
And again, just adding the amber into this bit, slowly. Right, then I'll just kind of blend this one upwards again. Um, so yeah, just continue doing that. Again, furthest you should add it is like here. Because you don't want to directly add it any further down because otherwise it's not really going to look like much of a difference. Me hand, oh no, I'm so sorry. It's really quite an exception again. It's really quite annoying. You just want to do it until both eyes are like equal looking. Make sure you blend it up a little bit. Obviously not when you've got a lot on your brush when you've got literally minimal on your brush. Blend it up. Make sure it's all nicely blended in. And make sure it's all pretty. Yep, that's okay. So next I'm going to go in with OUD, which is just that like brown colour there. So I'm literally very like small amount, like I said before. So I'm just going to dab it in here. The first I'm going to apply it is to there. So just be a lot more careful with this one. Then again, I'm going to get this brush and just blend it very carefully. Blend it forward. So yeah, just slowly adding this onto the eye. Now the effect we're trying to do with this is we want to make the corner of the eye look dark. Like that's what I want. I want it to look very dark here and then lighter towards the crease. Which is why the, obviously the darker colours are coming towards um, this part. The crease, why did I say the crease for? The corner of the eye, I meant. And this one again, when you've got literally minimal on your brush, you should start bringing it up a little bit. So I'm just going to repeat onto the other eye. It's exactly the same thing. Just blend it in. Right, now next, just to deepen it a little bit more, I'm going to add in saffron, which is just down here. Oh, yeah, that one. Just to darken it a little bit more. But keep the red tones in. Um, so literally, just darkening it again. I always accidentally nearly put it on the wrong eye. It's like all the time. Um, so I'm going to do the same again on the other eye. Exactly the same thing. Just trying to keep it like bit further down not adding as much as i did with the oud the brownie vote oud one um but still just very small amounts very small amounts so what i'll do now usually is i'll go back in with desert sand which was like that white you want at the top there and just add that back into the corner just to brighten up a little bit more and then i'm gonna go in with oh i can't decide try to decide between Blood Moon and Angelic. Angelic? Blood Moon is that one, right up there. And then and Angelic is that one. I think Blood Moon, I think it's gonna go more with the reds. I've got this brush now. So what I always do is I always wet the brush with some primer. Ooh. Make sure it's got a bit on, if it's got too much on. Then I just do that and just like tap it away. Can't really do it. Yeah, just tap it away. Yeah, I'm going to go to Bullard Moon, which was the first one I showed you. How pretty is that? And I'm literally just going to add it in like that. I'm just going to add it into my crease. Just like that. I don't know why I did this eye first this time, but apparently I did. Um, so it's exactly the same on this eye. So I'm not dragging it all the way out there. If you've noticed, I just gently patted it and kind of didn't add it down to there. So I actually went and wetted my sponges. I know they're so dirty, but like, it's fine. So next we're gonna prime. I'm gonna put me cream on. I'll show you which one I'm using. Ooh. That one, the simple daily skin detox all day and mattifying moisturizer. So I'm gonna put that on. Um this one it goes quite far, like I think this is probably too much for my face. It goes quite far, like like that will go quite far. 
it does leave a bit of like a what, what's the what's the word like a white cast like i think if you had a dog or skin tone i don't think this would be the one for you because it's kind of has that sun cream effect also make sure you sort your neck I think we need to do it more actually. Oh Jesus. Right, so I usually leave that a couple like I usually leave that like a minute to just dry in a little bit. and um, so it's not like too wet. So I've let that um soak in. So next I'm gonna put on the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Photo Finish Primer. So I'm gonna apply this. Um this one you need to put a bit more on, like it doesn't blend as well as the other one. Um so you do have to kind of Put a lot on. So I'm just rubbing that in everywhere. Just got it in the eyeball. And I feel like people also forget to put the primer on the necks or on the chins in my case. Again, I'm gonna leave this to soak in. While I'm leaving this to soak in, I'm gonna mix my foundations um, to get the right colour. Um, so I'm gonna be using this Revolution Liquid Highlighter. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna be using this LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Um, this is in the shade of bronze, which is a way too dark for us, like ridiculously too dark for us. Then I'm gonna mix it with that lighter foundation that I talked about in the video. I found what it was. It was the Fit Me Maybelline. That's one I love. Um, the lighter shade I get is 118. Devils me order another one of these. But I'm going to have to wait till Boots is open again, <laughs> which is quite annoying. So I've added some of that one in there. I'm going to add some of this and then two drops of this um, highlighter. So I'm just going to skip through this foundation part because I'm literally just going to be applying it, blending it in. That's it. So I need to put it all on my face and my neck and I'll be back in a second. So I just finished doing my face and my neck. As you can see, my neck's not looking great, but it's fine. That's what you get for having patchy tan on, I guess. Um, and plus, I didn't want to run my boyfriend's top, so I was like freaking out about it. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go in with the light to medium Smashbox uh, powder. I'm gonna have to stand back for this one because honestly, when you open this, it's like so scary. Right, then I get this brush. I have to stand up for this, but I'm telling you because if I don't, I end up with powder all over us, like literally all over us. So first thing I do is I set my neck because I try not to go too far because I've got to put my um, bronzer on my jawline. So I don't go my jawline, but just my neck. I set my neck before it gets all over my top and stuff. Yep, there, that's all in. I'd always recommend doing your bronzer and yeah, doing your bronzer and your blusher. Then I do my powder and then I do my highlighter. So just going in with the Huda Beauty the Huda Beauty bronzer and I'm just gonna blend it in. Oops! This is why you don't put too much on at a time. You just slowly do it, otherwise this is what happens. This lighting is not thriving um at all. Actually getting worse as the day goes on, but it's fine. I feel like bronzer is quite an easy thing to do. I would definitely say I wear quite a lot of bronzer, but that's just kind of the look I like. Then I go in with a smaller brush to do my nose um, contour, just so it doesn't end up like an absolute mess. I don't really, you know, a lot of the time I won't even do nose contour. Because I've been blessed with quite like a small nose, so I don't really need to. Like I don't really see the difference when I do it. Um, I don't know. I've got quite a small nose naturally, so it doesn't really do that much. But I thought I would do it just for the purpose of this video. Next thing I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, um, just to brighten it a little bit. Not too much because this is like it goes it goes a long way. I just blend this under my eye. Just to give it that lighter look, more brightening effect. Um, sometimes as well, what I'll do is I'll get a bit of the concealer, like a tiny bit like that, and I'll put it up my nose, sort of. I mean, that looks wonky. 
but I'll put sort of put it here on my nose and just blend it a little bit. Blend it in. This side. Just again, it makes your nose look skinnier. Right now, next, I'm moving on to my blush, and I just love doing blush. Don't know why. It just gives us oh my god, it's just doing a face. It gives us like a sort of joy blush. It just gives us such a joy. I just love blush. I kind of bring my blush up here a bit. I don't think I'm actually supposed to do that, but I just kind of always do. I just kind of like the look. I think it looks nicer. Um, and then I always put some on the tip of my nose because I just think it looks cute. Then, again, I'll go in with my powder. Again, standing up because I'm not risking this. And wherever I haven't been, I'll go over this. So I'll go here with the regular powder. That was probably a bit high, but you know. Just like down here with my regular powder. Um, on my chin, because like the upper bit of my chin. Here, just everywhere I didn't go before. Um, with bronzer, I'll go over with powder. Because we all know powder on powder does not go well. So we're not about to do that. So now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. Which is the Fenty Beauty one. Um which has the lightning dusk and fire crystal. Um, and I'm just going to apply it. Everyone keeps telling us to try the um, doll highlighter, doll beauty highlighter. Honestly guys, well, you should actually go and watch the old makeup I did right and see the difference between now and then. It, from lockdown, like the amount of difference my makeup has had. Like, it's crazy. Then, with this one, this one's a bit brighter. I'm just going to put it in the, this bit of my eye. I love, like, the like it sounds silly, but I just love, like, where your face just looks, like, all sparkly and, like, like that. Like, oh, I live for it. So I'm just going to go back in with my eyebrows because when I've been doing my foundation so I've kind of ruined them a bit. Again, like I was saying before, just brushing it up. I think that looks so pretty, like the bushy eyebrows. And then I'm just going to go over with my gimme brow. And... Oh, is it? Is there hair on it? I'm just going to brush them up buds. Brush them up, words. How cute! Oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed. Soap is gonna be my everyday, but well, it's already in my everyday routine. But I mean, it's gonna be in my everyday makeup routine. Next, I am going to go back in to the um, eyeshadow palette. Now I'm gonna get a brush like this, which is stained pink, as all my other brushes are. I'm gonna go in with OUD, which was the darker brown color. Um, and I'm just going to put it under my eye, so wait, I'll show you. Like that. I'm just going to stop when it comes to like the highlighter in the, in the corner of my eyes. So just like that, and I'll repeat exactly the same thing on this eye. Next I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Extra Black Mascara. Next, I'm going in with my doll lashes called Chloe, um, and I'm going to use my dual glue, which isn't opening. And then you want to generously apply your glue on your eyelashes, like literally, when I say generously, I just pour the full tube on it. I'm going to go and do my eyelashes off camera, because when I tell you I cannot be on camera because I look so disgusting, the faces I pull. It's just not happening. I will be back. So my lashes are on now. And next I'm going to just move on to lips. So first I'm just putting some Carmex on as I always do. Then I'm going to go in with my Honey Lip Liner. This one. First thing I, first thing I do is I actually line my lips. Alright, I'll show you. I line my actual lips, which you can see are quite small. Then I go over, up here. When I over my line my lips, I'm not trying to make it really look natural. 
so I do overline the sides but if you want it a lot more natural don't just overline up here and keep your sides natural so then I pull the start in the middle and I'm gonna get my Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk and stick put it on then I get a lip gloss for example this one the Helene's Cosmetics I don't it doesn't actually have a shade on you anyway um and then I just add it in the middle and to finish it all off I get my Morphe setting spray and I just I just thought I would show you how to make it look slightly better lighting. Um, I definitely would not say I was the best person in the world at makeup. All I would say, that is my dog in the background. If you're wondering what the noise is, just rubbing all of your cart with that, I just feel bad. Um, but one thing I would say is I have improved so much, like just from practicing. So I've like learned quite a bit lately. Um, so this is just what I suggest. But I mean, as I've said, not a makeup artist, so so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um and i'll see you next time bye